for those wondering, what is a student slash filmmaker slash film lover like me, president and co-founder of the Madison College Film Club that hasn't been active for five years? Well, my name is Alan Zajitsky, and this is my story. It originated from me and him having a class together. Um, we were in a class called Creative Photography, and I had to take a prerequisite for it, but it's also an elective class that freshmen can take, and he took it. So I was able to be in a class with him, and uh, we got closer to the end of that spring semester, and he, uh, after class, I noticed he had these flyers, and he was putting them up, and uh, I spoke with him, and he asked me if I could uh, help pass out and play flyers in the Vicom area, the Vicom programs, other classrooms, and, and so I did, and by doing that, um, that definitely helped out with the recruitment that would come up the, the year after. The biggest challenge on my part is that I have to coordinate with people and connect with them while at the same time trying to make sure things are going smoothly. So I just, Alan shared with me that he had an interest in films and I like movies, mine is horror, but most other movies are fun. So then he proposed that he had a film club. He wanted to start a film club and asked if I would be so gracious to join. And I decided that, yes, it would be fun. It's actually the, the only group, I should say club, that I'm a part of at MATC. So I enjoyed it. Luckily, one of our club advisors, Emily Pearson, decided that we should take the room in the Student Life Center, which turned out to be a great success. Not only we did the Wizard World Comic Con field trip, but we also went to theaters or just watched movies like Into the Spider-Verse. And as we kept doing that, more numbers kept going up. When I heard the news that the pandemic is going on and when the school is shut down, I felt very upset because I couldn't meet my friends in person nor watch movies with them. But that didn't stop me from creating a new way to interact with them, which I do with WebEx and meet with them every Friday at 7 p.m. to watch movies, which is awesome. Okay, okay at, at least three. So Jackson got one of them. What's the other two? Well, we uh, mainly just watch movies and give our opinions on them. Like kind of like, kind of like, like, like not exactly like those internet that online critics and talk about like like I mean mainly just like our, our general thoughts about it like man and like what do we think like watch the whole thing and like talk about what what do we think about the whole time I didn't really think too much about like the cinematography or whatever Alan called it um what was symbolic about the movie. I didn't really even think of those parts because I was like, oh, this movie's either funny to me, I like it, or it's not very fun, funny to me, so I don't like it quite as much, or it's not enough action. Like very okay. recently, we just watched a movie last Friday called uh, The Mitchells vs. The Machines, and one of the symbolic pieces in there was this wooden moose. That symbolized the relationship that the girl who was going up to college had with her father and just her family in general. Well, <clears throat> I honestly would recommend it. I feel like because other than the animation, I thought the things were okay and done well. I and mean, plus, I feel like that there's a reason why this was all being created. And it's, it's for the advancement of people's understandings of, you know, what it means to be a, you know, a, not only a human, but a, you know, a film lover. And that's very humanistic, but I think that's what made this club so cool. I mean, we have people from all over the class that I would never, I would, I would never have met if it wasn't for this, you know, film club. It's pretty cool. As my two to three years run of president of Madison College Film Club comes to an end, I felt sad because not only this club meant a lot to me, but my friends were like a family to me, and I'm really going to miss them. Without them, I don't think this film club would go anywhere. And as I'm going to UW Madison to pursue filmmaking, I really do hope that this club survives without me. But if it can survive during pandemic, anything is possible. 
So, before I go, I just want to tell MATC College this. Thank you for everything, MATC. Thank you.